all right everybody how's it going it is tuesday august 20th 2024 and of course we just finished with week two of the nfl preseason so you know it's only kind of natural it's only right what, what comes after two you go to week three uh i guess not like you don't go one two week three you go one two three uh, and then you add whatever uh descriptor in front of it whatever who cares anyway week three of the nfl preseason uh last week went really well actually we went 10 and 6 somehow in the preseason uh that's pretty good I mean, <laughs> this is just somehow you guess 16 games and uh you get 10 right yeah that's pretty good um so we're 18 and 14 overall which is pretty solid save a bad week we should actually go over 500 in the preseason so that's a pretty good sign maybe a good omen for the season ahead um at least we're hoping anyway uh, but before we jump into it, as always, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, make sure you leave your picks down below, your thoughts down below, um, anything really as we're in the last week of the preseason. Um, just leave whatever you want down there or, or just leave a like, whatever to really help the video out. The subscribing helps the channel grow. Uh, Let's we'll see if we can get 10k subs this year. Let's see. Ooh, <laughs> we're a thousand away. Um, either way, uh, I don't know. I guess we could just jump into it. Um, yeah, week three of the preseason. Uh, yeah, thanks for all the YouTube mumbo jumbo. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get rid of all this. And week two of the preseason, it says we're, uh, like I said, it says eight and eight, week one, 10 and six, so 18 and four. All right, two games on Thursday. I think I got into everything. Yeah, that's pretty much. Anyway, um, eight o'clock Eastern Standard. It'll be the Colts taking on the Bengals. Colts are five and a half point favorites coming off a 21 to three win versus the Cardinals. Bengals 0 and 2, uh, 27 to loss, 27 to 3 loss to the Bears. <laughs> so I got the Colts winning this. Um, it seems like they're trying to play and win in the preseason so far. Um, it doesn't seem like they're taking it easy or just blowing off the games. Uh, whereas with the Bengals, like we've kind of noticed, they um, pretty much are just trying to avoid injury, which they've done. And sort of <clears throat> get their way to the regular season. Um, They've had bad luck, so it kind of makes sense that they're taking it easy and not really uh, pushing anything with like Burrow or anything like that. So I'd imagine they'll coast through this, go 0-3, and it's not really a big deal. Um, again, the Colts were favored by 5.5 over under 34.5. Uh, all the lines are added by FanDuel. I don't really, you know, I add them way after I make my picks, so, you know, they're there. But they don't really have any bearing on who I pick to win or anything like that. It's just kind of fun to see who's favored to win and yada, yada, yada. Uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. It'll be the Bears taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs are favored by one and a half with an over-under of 32 and a half. They must think it's the regular season um, or something. Because the Bears, again, we just talked about them. They won 27-3 to uh, last week. And the Chiefs lost 24-23 to uh, to the Lions. Lions won, I think, on like a the, uh, late game kick. So, I don't know. Again, Kansas City starters are better than the Bears starters that's not even a question but it's one of them things where it's like how hard is KC gonna really try we've seen that they come out okay then they blow off the rest of the game that's probably what'll happen in this whereas Chicago plays the full game at 150 percent um so most likely we'll see the Chiefs lead early then the Bears take it over late um leading to a perfect 4-0 for the Bears and a 0-3 for the Chiefs but it's ultimately who cares do we really think the Bears are gonna have a better year than the Chiefs, even though one's going to be 4-0, and one could be 0-3. I don't think so. No one thinks that. It would be very funny if the Bears went like 17-0 and somehow, though. Just had the greatest year of all time, and we're all just like, wow, Caleb really is the GOAT. That's unbelievable. Can't believe the Panthers fumbled this. Um, Because, yeah, they'd be the worst off. They'd be like, damn, Carolina. You could have had that guy. Anyway, go to Friday. A few games to get through. Um, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard, we got the Jaguars playing the Atlanta Falcons. Jaguars are favored by 7 with an over-under of 35.5. Jaguars 2-0 coming off a 20-7 win versus the Bucks. They look pretty solid. Mac Jones looks good as a backup. The Atlanta Falcons are 0-2 coming off a 13-12 loss to the Ravens. Uh, you know, it's hard to beat the Ravens in the preseason, so not really a no real shame there. Uh, um, again, Jags are favored by 7, over-under 35.5. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Jaguars. Um, again, it doesn't hurt that they have Mac Jones as the backup, and he's pretty capable of just shredding bad defenses and backup teams. That's kind of what he did with, with New England. He'd beat up on bad teams, struggle versus the good ones. So most likely you'll get good effort from the Jag starters, from their backups, whereas with the Falcons, you may get good effort from the starters, but when the backups come in, it's not very great looking. So 
most likely, even if Atlanta gets out to an early lead, the Jaguars come back and take it. And that's probably just how this one plays out. Plus, like we've seen with Atlanta, they could have won that game several times versus the Ravens, and they just kept blowing it. So they, they feel really ill-prepared and badly coached right now as well. Something to keep an eye on as you go into the regular season. There's two teams I'll talk about that have uh, things you should keep an eye on. But the Jaguars, the Falcons, maybe be one of them. I'm not sure yet. Um, 7.30 Eastern Standard, so about 30 minutes later. The Dolphins take on the Buccaneers for the final battle of Florida. Um, Dolphins are, are the Bucks are favored by 2.5 with an over-under 37.5. Dolphins are a surprising 2-0 this preseason after a 13-6 win off the Commanders. Buccaneers fall to 1-1 one one after their uh, 27 loss to Jags that we already talked about. So, yeah, I just like the Dolphins here. They seem to be winning games. Their defense looks solid. Their offense is doing just enough to win. Um, I, I don't, I don't really, I didn't really know how to pick this one. I just kind of flipped a coin. I was like, uh, well, the Dolphins keep winning. Seems like they're at least somewhat trying to win preseason games. Whereas like the Bucks, I think they tried and lost. And I don't really like that when that happens. Uh, but again, they also may not be trying. And uh, the Bucks are a weird one because they won their first one, lost the second one, and now it's like, well, what what are they doing here? Um, so I'll go with the Dolphins, who have at least won two two of their games. So it was like they're consistently trying to win. Um, oh boy, I can't pick the Raiders. Ten o'clock Eastern Standard, the San Francisco 49ers take on the Poo Poo Raiders. No offense, Raiders fans, but what the hell? Um, some Raiders fan needs to tell me that your starting defense didn't get shredded by Trey Lance and that Jack Jones and Max Crosby played for like one drive. If I hear that, then I'll calm down. But like from what I looked at, it looked like Jack Jones and Max Crosby played in that game um, against the pack uh, against the Cowboys last week, which the Raiders lost 27 to 12. And it looks like their starting defense kind of got lit up by Trey Lance and the backup Cowboys. So that's something to keep an eye on with the Raiders. Something you should put a big red circle around if Jones and uh, Crosby types played any more than like a drive. If it was one drive, then it's whatever it happens. Uh, but if it was more than one drive, that's not good. Yeah, that's uh, that's a real big worry. That's You can't really take much from the preseason, but it's like you shouldn't be getting beat up on by Trey Lance. I don't think that's good. Um it's not a good sign. Anyway, the 49ers play the Cowboys. 49ers six and a half point favorites with an over and under a 34 and a half. Uh, 49ers one and one coming off a 16 10 win versus the Saints. We just talked about the Raiders. They lost 27 to 12 to the Cowboys. Um, I'm going to go with the Raiders or uh, with the 49ers. Um, their their defense was not looking good on any level last week. So if that continues into this week, even if it was the backups, the 49ers should be able to do whatever they want or at least move the ball quite effectively. Um, especially if they just let Trey Lance walk all over him like that. That was pretty embarrassing. Uh, again, so if you're a Raiders fan, please let me know what happened with your defense last week. Because again, when I look in the scorebooks and I see Jack Jones and Crosby having stats recorded, I'm like, what? So that's suspicious. Keep an eye on that, that team. All right, let's go to more Saturday, fo or Saturday football. Bunch of one o'clock games. Oh, shit. Carolina Panthers take on the Buffalo Bills. Panthers are favored by two and a half with an over-under of 30 and a half. Um, Panthers are 0-2 coming off a 15 to 12 loss versus the Jets. Not really surprised. And the Bills uh, finally won their game. They lost 9 to 3 to the Steelers. Again, the Bills aren't really trying this preseason. But the Panthers to me have been, I don't even think the Panthers could be the team that is fundamentally not trying. You know what I mean? Like the Bills have opened the bill. We're just not playing nobody. We're not getting hurt. <laughs> Screw that. Um, and whereas Carolina seems to be trying, but like also not playing anybody. And I feel like the Bills just have slightly better backups than the, not even slightly, they just have better backups than the Panthers do. So I think the Bills will be able to win. Um, if, and, and if the Bills play their starters at all, that could really help out too. Um, well, I disagree with a lot of these lines this week. I just realized the Panthers are favored by two and a half with an over under 30 and a half. I don't know why that is. I, I, I get the Bills, but eey. Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Detroit Lions. Steelers favored by six and a half with an over under 34 and a half. Yeah, I'm not picking the Steelers with that offense. Russ Wilson played a half. Justin Fields played a half. They threw for 139 yards. You're thinking that's not that bad. 140 yards each and a half. That's pretty good. 
no, that's combined. Like that's how much the total offensive throwing was for. I think that's not good. Um, I don't think that's going to improve enough in a week to win a game versus another NFL team. So um, most likely the Lions will be able to steal this game. Uh, anyway, it's the Steelers taking on the Lions. Uh, uh, the Steelers, we already said that. Lions are 1-1 one one coming off a 24-23 win versus the uh, Chiefs. And the Steelers are 0-2 off a 9-3 loss to the Bills. The Steelers offense looks really lost so far this preseason. Offensive line still hasn't been quite figured out. We may see some of the Lions starters in this game. Not exactly sure. Uh, most likely the Lions will win this game because again they seem to have they can at least do stuff with their backups whereas like the Steelers are just you know they just kind of you know they, they're playing football but that's all you can really say uh the Baltimore Ravens take on the Green Bay Packers Packers are favored by three with an over under of 33 and a half there were a lot of weird favorites this week um I could be wrong though Packers coming or Ravens coming off a 13 12 win versus the Ravens Packers coming off a 27 2 loss versus the Broncos um most likely the Packers are have sold it for the rest of the preseason I don't think they're going to be trying much in this game um whereas the Ravens always put forward put forward at least a little effort in every preseason game and I think that could be just enough to push them over the edge of the Packers now again maybe Green Bay comes out and tries to show something I'm not sure what but maybe they try to um but they most likely won't. They seen whatever they had to see against the Browns and they went, all right, we're good. And they checked out. So most likely won't see much effort from Green Bay this week. Probably see a decent amount like normal from the Ravens in the preseason. So I like the Ravens to win. Even though they got real lucky against the Falcons, they should be 0-2 if we're being honest. But Los Angeles Rams take on the Houston Texans. Texans are favored by 6.5 uh, with an over-under of 34.5. It's hilarious the Rams are 2-0 and in the preseason and because they like, don't try to win games. Uh, they beat the Chargers 13-9, and the Texans beat the Giants 28-10. Um, again, I don't really think the Rams put forward any effort. They just kind of win because the other team isn't trying either. And I think Houston's one of the few teams that do try in the preseason. They like to get good reps in. Um, so I could see the Texans winning that game just based on effort and approach to the game. One team doesn't really care about it. The other team uses it quite well. Give me the team that like doesn't you know poo, poo off the preseason like the Rams do. So give me give me Houston, you know, pretty pretty straightforward. Minnesota Vikings take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles or the Vikings are two. Both teams are two and zero. Vikings two and 27 to twelve win versus the Browns. Eagles coming off a tight win versus the Patriots, 14-13. Um, I'm going with the Eagles or with the Vikings. Sorry, in this one. Specifically because I think, again, one of my things with the Vikings is they've been trying really hard all preseason in both games because of this. Uh, they have open competitions all throughout the roster. Every position is basically up for grabs. No one's like a shirt starter except like three or four guys. Um, so again, if you're a player on the Vikings, you're playing really hard right now despite it being preseason. Whereas like the Eagles just kind of got lucky. The Patriots backups <laughs> just didn't ever do anything the entire second half with the ball. So. You know, so they lucked out and won that game. And again, maybe a lack of, they really, you know, I, I don't know. I just think the Vikings are going to win. They're going to try harder than the Eagles in this one. Some more Saturday football. I think three, I think there's six more games. So we're almost there. Los Angeles Chargers take on the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Cowboys are three and a half point favorites with an over under a 33 and a half. Um, I'm going to be going with the Cowboys. Uh, well, Chargers are 0 and 2 off a, uh, 13-9 lost to the Rams we already talked about. Cowboys uh, off of, off of 27-12 when we already talked about. So you know what I mean? We already kind of talked about those. Um, but yeah, I like the Cowboys. Um, they look like they're putting forward. Last game, they put forward some good effort. So I'm guessing this game, they're going to do something, try to do something similar with Lance. Um, and with the Chargers, it doesn't look like they care too much. They're just trying to get through the preseason to the regular season, avoid any more injuries, make sure everyone's healthy, um, you know, and just... Kind of drilling in Jim Harbaugh's uh, system there as a new coach. So give me the Cowboys um, on a few things that I just said. Oh, who cares? The Giants play the Jets. Uh, I got the Jets. 10 o'clock Eastern Standard. The Cleveland Browns take on the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, it's the sorry. That's the battle in New York. Oh, crazy. <laughs> the Browns take on the Seahawks. Browns are favored by two and a half with an over under a 37 and a half. Um, Browns are, 
I think both teams are coming off a loss. I can't remember if the Titans beat this. Yeah, Titans won that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Seahawks are off a loss too. So uh, Seahawks coming off a 16-15 loss to the Titans. Browns coming off a 27-12 loss to the Vikings that we just talked about. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like the Browns are trying anymore. It doesn't really look like they're just, I think they're just coasting through, avoiding the injuries and just they get us to the regular season. Then we could turn up our defense. We could turn up the offense and get ready to go. So don't really expect to see much out of them this weekend. Seattle looks like they're at least trying to stay in games, not really trying super hard, but also not not trying. So I think the not not trying is going to help them or at least push them over the edge over a Browns team that, again, is kind of despondent this preseason. Doesn't seem like they really care. Um, all right, Sunday football. You got, oh, cool, really, another barn burner. The Titans and the Saints, man. All 400 fans, you know, tuned in. 2 o'clock Eastern Standard, you got the Titans playing the Saints. Titans are favored by 3.5 with an over-under of 36.5. I'm not even going to go over this one. Just just like the Giants one and the Jets one. I, I, who cares? It's the tit- it's, who, I wouldn't even cover this in the regulars. I'd be like, yeah, and I got the Titans over the Saints. I'll talk about this one. Uh, 4.30 p.m. We got the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Denver Broncos. Uh, Broncos are favored by four and a half with an over under of 36 and a half. Uh, Cardinals 0-2 off a 21-13 loss to the Colts. Broncos beat the Packers 27-2 on route to a 2-0 record. Um, basically, we see the two tails of two opposites. Kind of what we've done basically the whole stream. The only analysis we really have. Arizona hasn't tried all preseason or they're just not very good or have no depth. Whereas Denver is in multiple position battles like Minnesota that we talked about earlier, but like literally every position's up for grabs. I think like literally everything, even head coach. If someone, if, if the defensive coordinator shows he's a better coach, they'll put him, they'll swap him and Peyton around us. I'm, I'm serious. Um, but yeah, I got, I got the Broncos. Cause again, it's just going to be an effort thing. The Broncos are going to try Cardinals aren't, who knows? Maybe they'll play Kyler, but I seriously doubt it. Um, yeah, easy, easy, easy little win for the Broncos. And to end the preseason, the New England Patriots get to wrap her up. Uh, the New England Patriots play the Washington Commanders. Uh, both teams coming off a loss. Pat- Patriots are favored by five and a half with an over under of 33 and a half. Um, Patriots lost 14 13 to Eagles, like we discussed. Commanders lost 13 to six to the Dolphins. Um, yeah, I just like the Patriots. Um, favorite team so i picked them for that reason preseason get over it um i also picked them because washington isn't good at football they got bad coaches we have better coaches we have better players we have cooler players they do have Jaden daniels but you know we got fucking jacoby Brissett, and i'm gonna go with the patriots <laughs> i ran out of i just ran out of steam i'm gonna be honest i ran out of i ran out of it this week it's the preseason, man. I'm, I'm, you know, the rust is gone. I'm ready to go. So I can't wait for the next preseason or the next picks video to be week one of the picks. Um, but again, that's our final preseason picks video. Next week, we have a bunch of predictions coming out. So that'll be exciting. Um, you know, we got uh, divisional, pre- you know, we do the AFC, all the like division predictions. Then we do the playoffs predictions, Super Bowl prediction. Um, we do uh, awards predictions. And then, you know, regular season, basically. <clears throat> <laughs> excuse me um that's basically it though um i appreciate you listening if you made it all the way through thanks a ton make sure you leave a like subscribe to channel if you're new around here drop your picks drop your thoughts on the video drop all that fun stuff down below i'll always reply to it um that's about all i got uh week three down the drain in the dump now we're waiting for week one of the regular season uh next picks video will be uploaded on the third hopefully everyone enjoyed it if not you know it's not my problem um Anyway, see you later. See you next time. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day, night, morning, mid-afternoon, mid-evening. Whenever you watch it, just have a good one. And I will see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.